But for now, we are going to switch over to Milky Warfare versus Team. We are going to be going into Free Dawn. And for it is, as we said, 4 to 1 currently. The lead for Milky Warfare. It's changed over. This will be... Oh! Oh, yeah, Delcom doesn't work. Great. Right. So, this will be, uh... Not actually sure whose pick. But Milky Warfare looking very strong so far in this one, taking a peek through the MP. Seeing Hoshinomori and Crystal as usual, playing quite well, and they just played Akari Ga Yetakita, though, so we don't have to see that map again, though. It's a good song, but it's like five minutes long, so. We are underway now on pre-dawn. I would hazard a guess? Let's see here. I think this was actually picked by Milky Warfare. It's going to be Donit, Fudu, Fangzi, and Hades against Rikia, Khan, Illuniers, and Saryi. I think, uh, you know, it's like we, we kind of talked about yesterday, Milky Warfare on these speedy DT picks, Live and Die by Fangzi. He SS'd Luna, and they won that, and he had some trouble on a couple of the other maps, and he lost those, but... Uh, were able to emerge victorious in that match nonetheless. Right now, though, we get the early break from Hades. The other three still holding combo. Lunir is going to break on the side of team, so three FCs to three. Score gap in favor of Milky Warfare with some combo advantage and accuracy lead. I think after this match, the Blaze can finally go sleep for like four days. So, got that to look forward to regardless for her. Into that last two of the map we go, as we talked about before. This is where things get very tricky. Sarya and Rikia both finding breaks for team, and uh, that's going to basically decide this one, I think, as Fangzi and Donna is still holding on to those big combos over on the side of Milky Warfare. A pretty sizable lead in their favor. This was picked by team, so the f they were like, did this start off with break points, or did I misread? I'm not sure. Anyway, this was a team pick. A little bit surprised. Khan, Donut, and Fangzi all going to finish out the FCs, but uh, Milky Warfare just too strong. 800,000 point victory there, and uh, a 5-1 to one lead. This one, not all that close, unfortunately, but uh, we'll see if team can figure out a strategy to get themselves back into this match. S rank for Fudu. FCs for Donut, Fangzi, and Khan. Juniors. Lower score, but really it comes down to Milky Warfare with the FCs. Did our bracket here real quick for that result of the finals match while we're in between picks. Interesting that that was a pick by team, but uh, I think Fangzi kind of really showing up on DTs this week makes it a little tougher to pick into Milky Warfare because previously you, you could kind of expect to pick DTs and and maybe hope that he was going to underperform a bit as an A seed because he's a little less consistent in tournaments. Uh, but he is a very good speed player no matter what. So... He comes good, as they say. Starts to be a very strong force. 
And it's going to be DT3. They played this one yesterday. Fangzi SS'd it. Playing it again here today. Luna. 6.3 stars, 2 minutes, 19 seconds, 267 BPM. You know the drill. We've seen this one a few times. Fairly straightforward 2012 era pick. Coming out of Milky Warfare here. Two points away from the finish line and a matchup with Pocket Gala. And the GLHFs are going to come out, so we should be good to go here. Down at Hades, Fangzi, and Egemen for Milky Warfare. Rikia, USMC, Ahmad, Ahmed, Lunars, and Lilyflower for teams. We've got the uh, double Australian duo power here for team, but no Khan. We'll see how this goes for Lilyflower, but uh, they always seem to drop a little bit going from Khan to Lilyflower on most maps. Our usual nice DT lag. I had missed it so in the uh, couple minutes in between these picks. 80s and Ahmad both with the early breaks. Bangzi once again looking to follow up his SS with a second SS. That'd be pretty remarkable. I mean, it's not a difficult map, especially for a player like him, but still. Down at Hades, Rikia and Ahmad all missing on that same pattern. So the bottom row keeping their combo, top row all missing. You can see the stark accuracy difference here. Fangzi, SS, Eggman 98%. Meanwhile, Lunar is 96%, Lilyfaller 97%. And a Bancho miss from Lilyfaller did not actually break there. Lunars, though, will break his FC for team, so the lead going to be even more in favor of Milky Warfare. Lilyflower does, I think, break for real just there. And that is basically going to do it halfway through, but we have two FCs. Mm, I speak too soon. Agamemnon and a Hades both missing, so things can still be interesting here. You've got Fangzi with the SS still alive. Danit with 420 combo, matching Rikia. And Ahmad with about 300 combo. It's not quite over yet, but it's going to be shortly if uh, Dana and Fangzi can both hold on, which Fangzi probably will. I haven't seen any signs of any sort of struggle from him on this pick. This is very easy for any established speed player such as him. And he and Dana both SSing through that stream. So this one will look to go the way of Milky Warfare. That'll be a 6-1 to one lead. Will Fangzi SS this map twice in one weekend? Only question that remains to answer. Just the outro to come, and man, does he look solid. And he does. Fangzi with the SS again. <laughs> that's, uh, that's cool. I don't see that very often. Let's take a look at their match from yesterday. So the score today, 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 1, 4. His score yesterday... I know they played in this match. Score yesterday... 1, 2, 3, 3, 0, 1, 4. So he beat his own score by 600 points. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That is a Fangzi map right there. That is 6-1 Milky Warfare. 
one point away now from advancing onward to a date with Pocket Gala in the Losers Final. It's going to be Nomad 1 as the pick from Team. Gosh, I love Nomad 1. Mm, just give me Inject, Love Live, Sky Flame, four minutes of 1-2 jumps directly into my fucking veins. I cannot get enough of it. This is a Jordan the Bear moment. <laughs> Interesting, we saw this yesterday and there were some players that I actually felt like are really aim players. Um get which match that was in offhand. I think it was well, it was Stan K-pop versus team. Boom, we saw Doomy FCing with 400s. Eddie, Rikia, and Khan, all with 1200, excuse me, 1200 plus combos, so they'll try to do that again today. Interestingly, we do see uh, USMC coming in to replace Sari on this one today. Sorry you played it for them yesterday. Did have their lowest score, but I mean, it was only 507k. It wasn't like it was a terrible score by any means, so. See if that uh, changes things up. They won it yesterday, so it's expecting to win it again, I'm sure. We'll see if Milky Warfare can play the game a little bit better and Stan K-Pop did. They really didn't have a lot to back up Doomie's FC, their next best score. 557k, so 400,000 points between first and second. Kind of tough to judge that against today. Milky Warfare, it's gonna be Crystal Hades, Gilarn Bulos, and Fudu. Team, as we said, running Rikia, USMC, Eddie, and Khan. Ahmed, Ahmed, Ahmed. Uh, we'll see how this goes. If team can win this again, get themselves at least one point back in this one. They are pretty far behind. They've got a lot of match points stacked against them, but. Milky Warfare still got to actually close it out, and this is, uh, I think, a good pick for team. They looked pretty comfy on it yesterday. Big jumps working in their favor. To get that early break from Fudu, so team with the lead at the beginning here. Gilarm Bulos with the next break for Milky Warfare. Ahmed will find a break for team though. Rikia, Eddie, and Khan with the FCs. Hades and Crystal holding for Milky Warfare. Um, near into the first Kiai with Fudu finding another miss as well as Ahmed. On Rikia and Eddie still looking quite good. Hades and Crystal solid for Milky Warfare, both holding the SS, matching Rikia's SS. 
better accuracy than Eddie and Khan, but Hades drops a little bit of accuracy. And it is still the lead in the favor of team. Mod is not having a good time of things, but the rest of his team is FCing, so he's kind of just the sacrificial lamb for now. It's working out all right for them. If he could sacrifice one player's score for the other three to FC on this pick, I think he'd be okay with that. 3.2, 3.4 million points is going to do you just fine. Crystal Hades still in the FCs, Rikia, Eddie, and Khan as well. Voodoo and Giller and Bulos both building their combo back up, but it is still about a 100,000 point lead for team. Hades with a break on the slow part. Oh, that was the FC. They needed him to hold that combo. That is a bad place to miss, my dude. Halfway through on a slow section. Oh, boy. Well, into the next set of jumps here. And into the next key eye. With team still looking pretty solid. Ahmad still struggling, but Ricky is still on the SS. Eddie and Khan still on the FCs. Oh, hey, I just completed Path to Partner. Who wants to partner the Suiji stream? Let's go, dude. And Crystal Breaks. Still the three waifu combo for team. This one is basically decided. Doesn't look like a huge lead for some reason. It's 300k, but uh, Triple FC against uh, two players with not quite 700 and 700 combo, respectively. I think we've completed Path to Partner on this account before. Usually every year we stream enough that... It ends up becoming a possibility because I stream two days per weekend and it just adds up over time. There's a break from Fudu. Killer and Bulos, the only combo on Milky Warfare of note. Meanwhile, team is still triple FCing. This is actually pretty remarkable. Khan and Rikia and oh! Okay, everybody just broke on that big jump. That 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 pattern is actually so ridiculous. But uh Gilar and Bulos the only one that held there, so it really isn't gonna matter. It indeed is not going to be 3 FCs in a mod 20 miss. It's going to be uh, 0 FCs in a mod 20 miss. Gilar and Bulos putting on a little bit of a show here. The last 1,000 combo, but it's just not going to end up making a difference. 400k for the favor of team, and they're going to get another point onto the board here. It's going to be 6-2 to two the lead for Milky Warfare. But uh, they still have a lot of opportunities to close out this match. This was a good pick for team. So that is for sure. Man, don't you just love sky flame patterns? Holy cow. And 62 there is the final for that map. <clears throat> Top score, Rikia, 741k. Followed up by Khan at 713 and Eddie at 708. I'm not having the best of time down at 369. But Two point six nine million their score from yesterday, two point five million their score from today, so it did drop a little bit. Okay, Warfare, not able to live up even to the score of Stan yesterday's match. So. Actually, Stan K pop's score from yesterday would have beaten Milky Warfare's score from today. Two five seven zero against two five three four. Poor Doomy. Feels bad, man. And the next pick will be, of course, from Milky Warfare. Their first opportunity to close this out on their own map pick. Hmm. We just see. Uh, do we have any DTs left, or have, all, have I think all the DTs have been? that are likely to be played. I know we've played Kanjo Chemistry, Pre-Dawn, and Luna. I don't know if we've played Marionette no Kairaku, but I don't know that that really matters. <laughs> and Freemod 1 is going to be the pick. Rezonian's Fever. You know what? You love it. I mean, it's 18 seconds. It's 22 BPM. 6.4 stars. Give me two hidden two nomads per team. I almost can guarantee that.
the Jilly Tufts coming out in chat, so we should be able to get underway here. Eggman, Gilarm, Crystal, Hoshinomori with Eggman and Hoshinomori running hit. It's Rikia, Mod, Eddie, and Khan. Interesting team running double hard rock on this. Wow. This is the first hard rocks I've seen on any free mod in this weekend's map pool. Like, anytime any of these maps have been played. But I guess if you're a super hard rock team, then that's what you do. Eddie with the early break, but Gilliam Bulls trades it back. So three FCs to three, no advantage. Really either way. A little accuracy lead for Milky Warfare, but uh, it's the hard rock players that are dragging that act down. Eddie with another break. I'm going to build up a bit of a lead over him. Not much of one. Eddie does have that um, mod multiplier advantage, but there's a combo lead of about 100 for Gilarm over the over the player from the team. Crystal still holding the SS. A mod with 99.75, doing pretty well for themselves. We're making it through those weird linear patterns, and the aim as well. Oshino Mori with a break. So two FCs and one big combo for Milky Warfare against three FCs and a big combo for Team. Going to allow Team to bring this score lead back if they can keep their combos up through this middle section. And they do. So the score quickly dropping and looking like it's going to flicker over at any moment here. Oh, but a mod breaks at the same time as Hoshinomori breaks once again, but that means you have Kab Oh, Kablaze and Khan both missing. That is tragic for team. Eggman breaks for Milky Warfare though. Crystal and Gilarm still holding on to some combo, but Rikia and Eddie don't have enough combo to take the lead back from them, or do they? As Gilarm Bulos finds a break, as well as another miss, and it's Rikia and Eddie now. Oh, but Eddie breaks too. So it is Rikia versus Crystal. Crystal has the accuracy advantage, but is it enough to send the score lead over? It is flickering back and forth every moment. Does have a little bit of back and combo on Hoshimori. There goes Rikia's combo. She does break, and I think that may have just sealed the fate of Team as Milky Warfare has Crystal still on the FC and building up the score gap now as Hoshinomori has up over 450 combo as well coming into the ending of the map. Crystal with the pop-off, carrying his team as he has done so many times before to the victory. FC for Crystal, and that will close out the match 7-2 in favor of Milky Warfare. 6 100s, a very strong play from Crystal. And that is our match. Milky Warfare advances onward into the loser's bracket final by the score of 7-2 over team, who are eliminated from Suiji 2020. That sets up our loser's final matchup. Milky Warfare will take on Pocket Gala. Winner of that, then on to the grand final to face off against Stoof and Friends for the overall championship prize. Those will be next weekend. There are going to be some good matches, I think. Not the closest today, unfortunately, but I think things will only get closer hopefully next weekend. We get to see a great grand finals weekend for our 2020 tournament here. So whether anything can live up to the Grand Finals tiebreaker last year between uh, Put Me In Coach and Ignatian is a different matter, but hopefully, hopefully we can get some good matches in a week's time. Now we will have a Grand Finals map pool showcase probably sometime later on today. Of course, the match is ending a little earlier than they have been since we're running out, uh, running down to the last few map matches in the tournament. But uh, we'll get you an announcement when the showcase starts, of course. It will probably be later on this evening, UTC. No ETA, but I would guess five, six hours from now. Until then, um, you know, i just like to say I've been this one guy. Thank you for watching. Congratulations to our winners today, Stoof and Friends and Milky Warfare. GG well played to Pocket Gala and Team. Commiserations to Team as they are eliminated. But they had a very solid run with a good roster. Did everything they could. Got pretty far. So, until next weekend, I have been this one guy. Thank you for watching. We will see you next weekend. The Grand Finals. Have a wonderful day.